Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A20e and today I will share with you a couple of tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So we're going to begin with the night mode or well more of a dark mode for the display uh, which will turn basically the entire theme of the device uh, to dark. So you would go into settings and then display and you'll find night mode, enable that and everything should go dark. So now if I leave this and pull down the first notification panel, you can see that it's dark and not as intrusive, especially when you're trying to use the phone at night. So that is the first thing. Now moving on, we're gonna go into another thing that I personally like, at least on the Samsungs, which is the quick, quick open notification panel. Uh, and basically it allows you to pull down notification panel from anywhere on the screen, as long as you're swiping down. Normally when you try to do this, it opens up apps, you swipe up and does the same thing. So to change that, we'll go into the settings again. And from settings under the display, let me just disable that for now, display. And then we're gonna go into the home screen right here. And I believe it's at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Quick open notification panel. When you enable that and actually leave, you can now swipe from anywhere to open notification panel. And you still can access the app drawer by just swiping up like so. So that's another one. Now moving on, we're gonna go into the hiding password option. And in my opinion, that's probably one of the things that should be open, or not open, but checked from the beginning. Uh, but basically what it does is if I go into here, and just as an example, uh, I want to have some kind of network that I can show on, but hello. Please show me network so I can actually demonstrate this. But you probably know how you would type in a password. When you type in a password, it shows you those dots, but every time you type in a letter, it basically shows that letter for a brief moment. So you can actually remove this. And for some reason, this device can't connect to or show me the networks that are around here. So I just skip showing it and go into straight turning it on. So you go into the settings and then go into biometrics and security. Scroll down, other security settings. Scroll down, where is it? Oh, there it is, make password visible. So it's at the top here. And you want to disable that. No one wants to see the password or showing show password. So like I said, this should be basically disabled from the beginning. Okay. So now moving on, uh, another thing that I want to show is window opening and it's located also here. Um, so let's go back to other and at the bottom you have window uh, pinning or pin window. And when you enable that, you can actually tap on it and it gives you an basically a showcase how it works. You can also add a use screen like type to unpin and this will allow you to basically pin with a pattern so if someone wants to leave the app that you pin they will also have to provide the pattern passcode or whatever you have set to unpin it and basically as it works is when you go into recent apps and you tap on the uh, icon right there of the app you have pinned this app you tap on it gives you a little message on how to unpin it and then if someone basically tries to if it's usually used for showing someone something but you don't want them to access different parts of your device um, so you can basically keep it private and for instance you want to show them the setting now they can't really leave it now they can stay in the settings itself but they can't leave it and if they know the pattern passcode or well the pattern on how to unpin it like so then they can do that but you can check it on so they would have to provide a pattern to uh, undo it. So just a way of how you want to set it up. Now moving on, we're going to go into the app shortcuts and this will allow you to change the shortcuts that are right here on the lock screen. So those two, we have phone and camera. You can change them up to have basically do something else. Uh, so you'd go into the settings again and a lock screen. So just find lock screen. There it is. And then up shortcuts right here. 
and you can choose the left and the right and once you tap on it it gives you all the apps that you have installed now i don't really have any additional apps installed so those are all the default ones but you can as you can see clearly set any kind of other app if you wish so so for instance you could choose chrome and now if i tap here you can go straight to chrome from my lock screen and just a way for you to for instance add a app that you use frequently so you can access it quicker now moving on to another one will be the gestures so normally you have the buttons right here um, and you can actually make them into gesture base pseudo gesture base is not really full like other devices but when you go into the notification panel as i just did so pull it down and go to the next page you will have here navigation bar you disable that and it basically makes the bars that you had previously into or buttons into those tiny faint bars and they still act the same way as though you'd have the buttons but instead of tapping on it you have to slide it so this is basically the back button uh, which i have nowhere to go back from this is home and this is recent so i would go to recent home so they still work the same way as previously um, it just you don't have the buttons like you would have right now now next thing that i want to share is the game launcher and this is more for people that actually play games on their phone uh, and it will do a couple things uh, it has a couple features so number one it can remove all the games from your uh, app drawer so they're neatly organized all in the app itself number two it can boost the performance of the app by prioritizing performance instead of let's say battery um, and also block notifications so you're not getting spammed or called while you trying to do something or play something and to enable it you will have to go into the settings because by default it is actually not visible here like on the, uh, the s series so you'd go into the settings and from settings go to advanced features so on the bottom i think it was all right it's advanced features and you have it right here game launcher enable that add and we can actually leave here go to the game launcher right here and just agree start and i'm not going to update you should probably update though um and basically the first thing you'll have is hide games uh, and apps screen so you can choose hide games and then all the games will be accessible right here and they will disappear from your home screen and your app drawer and additionally you have the two other options right here so number one the performance slater you can choose either to focus on power saving like i said balanced so basically in between or focus on performance and then you also have the um the muting so you don't you are not interrupted by the notifications so that is basically a good thing if you're like playing games now Another thing that I want to show is the reduce animation and I believe Samsung has its own reduce animation but if it does there's I know one device that has it and it's fairly garbage so I don't really advise using it it doesn't really do much but basically every Android has built-in anima animation option I just hidden in the developer options so to enable it you would have to actually enable first developer options and to do that we're going to go into settings about phone then go into software information go all the way down or not all the way down there it is build number and tap on that seven times now if you have some kind of pattern set it will force you to basically put in the pattern before it enables the developer options but i don't have it so it automatically got enabled and now if i go back it should be somewhere right here in the main settings page developer options then you can scroll from here down a little bit past halfway and you will find this window animation scale transition animation scale and animation duration scale now each one of them corresponds to different animation um, i would advise to switch them all to the same speed so it's not like one animation is longer one shorter but i guess you can see you can basically set it to half speed completely remove animations or make them longer now probably half speed is the best option right there everything is still animated but it's just twice as fast as it was previously so it will improve in how snappy the device feels now moving on we're gonna go into another option which is split screen and 
and the other one is called let me see actually open up something so I can remember how the other one is called so when you tap on the icon right there it gives you the split screen and pop-up view now both of them are super handy and both of them uh, basically work a little bit differently uh, so split screen will open up the app in a split screen view so you basically have the display divided and you can actually use YouTube in this mode so you could listen to music without actually it having uh, pause the music or whatever that is that you're trying to listen to while doing some other stuff so you could let me just completely mute it so you could play some video while continue to do something here now normally you know that it would basically turn off uh, video or pause it so yeah so that's one thing and the other thing is let me just close this is the pinning or not pinning but uh, what is it a uh, pop-up view basically does the same thing as or similar thing as split screen but actually gives you a resizable window that you can resize as you can see and also drag around play as well and while it's playing you can actually move it basically almost all the way out and basically continue to use your device with it playing somewhere on the side and not actually getting in your way now keep in mind that if you actually minimize it to be a little up head it will pause the video so i think it's this button right here yeah so if you do this it actually does pause the video as you can see now but yeah, that would basically conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share. And if you found any of them helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.